we have here? Well, some of you may remember that a few months ago we shot a video on vintage cycling helmets, but we did not have this at the time, so this is going to kind of be a little addendum to that video. This is a Kiwi. Now, I've never heard of a Kiwi before, but apparently it must have been quite popular at some point. Because let me show you, first let me show you this amazing box. Look at these illustrations. They've got the guy, they got the girl, and on the back of the box, it says 1986. So that, that helps us date it to 1986. 1986 World Championships official helmet. UCI USCF. And it's also the official helmet of the 7-Eleven cycling team. Now check photos of the 7-Eleven cycling team during the time period trying to find images of people wearing this helmet, but I couldn't find any. But I'm assuming that they did at some point since it was, you know, the official helmet of the team. It also says it was distributed by the XL Marketing Corporation out of Memphis, Tennessee. Well, I showed you the cool box. Let's open it up and see what the helmet looks like. And amazingly, this thing is virtually in brand new condition. Looks like it had really never been used. There's the helmet, got Kiwi there. So here's another interesting thing. Over here on the back of the helmet, it says Swiss made which is a pretty unusual place to have a bicycle helmet made. Usually things manufactured in Switzerland are of extremely high quality. And I'm, I gotta say this helmet is no exception. It is an extremely well-made helmet. There's also a weight sticker on the back that says 550 grams, which is now about twice the weight of a normal cycling helmet. And it's got a very thick foam interior I'm guessing, I can't see the interior, but I'm guessing this is a styrofoam material because it's very stiff and it's covered with a blue fabric. The chin strap uh, is very well made. It has some metal buckles. And this is one thing I noticed. Uh, these metal buckles are getting a little bit of oxidation, which uh, you know I would have probably gone for a plastic buckle there to avoid that. But the snap is plastic and it's your standard type of snap which is still in good condition. They have a little uh, chin protector here to pad your chin from the strap. And there's a sticker on the inside that warns you not to use this for motorcycles. So perhaps a cycling helmets weren't that common at the time, or this one just looks so well made, people thought about using it for motorcycles and they didn't want you doing that. It has your uh, ANSI Z 90.4 sticker on the back. So it's certified. And this one is a size large. So let's go outside and see what this helmet looks like on. And here's what the helmet looks like on. Kind of reminds me of the old Brank Holly that the Russian was wearing in American Flyers or like a modern skateboard or BMX helmet. It's very heavy. You can really feel the weight when you put it on your head. We'll have to take this out with one of the vintage bikes. Test it out. All right, thanks very much for watching, folks. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.